pray you to night uh, we are engaging our warfare prayers because you know every night we have those uh, warfare midnight prayers and today it is simple rest on every side rest on every side is my portion rest on every side is your portion in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god lift your hand where you are and start praying and telling god lord thank you for giving me again this uh, amazing night in your presence thank you for the old day that has been amazing thank you for the new day that you are giving unto me lord i come to say thank you unto you i come to bless your name i come to worship you i come to adore you i come to say to you the glory to you the order to you the adoration forever and evermore I bless you, O God. I worship you, my Jesus. I love you, O Lord, for your mercy, for your goodness, for your grace. You never leave me. You never forsake me. Lord, I come to say glory be unto you forever and evermore. There is none else like you, my God. You are the source of my peace. You are the source of my joy. You are the source of my rest. You are my helper. Oh, yes my helper is you there is something as we always sing that makes me come into your presence you are my helper thank you for being my helper again tonight as we are coming before you you are my helper the helper the lifter of my head maybe you are coming tonight your head is down may god be the lifter of your head in the name of jesus christ tonight we are coming before the lord god is the source of rest rest on every side rest on every side rest on every side lift your hand where you are and start giving the lord praise because he's the source of our rest praise be the living god forever and evermore lord we love you lord we love you lord we love you more than anything else thank you lord the world all the world is in turmoil but we find our rest in you hallelujah rest is not in in america rest is not in europe rest is in, in any anywhere is nowhere anywhere it is in the lord that's why we are coming to you tonight you are our source of rest praise be the living god forever and evermore tonight we are engaging warfare prayers for rest on every side rest on every side our first scripture is in joshua 21 verse 43 to 44 the bible says and the lord gave unto israel all the land which he swear to give unto their fathers and they possessed it and dwelt therein 44 the bible says and the lord gave them rest round about according to all that he swear unto their fathers and there stood not a man of all their enemies before them the lord delivered all their enemies into their hand verse 43 that is the first prayer we will engage tonight the lord gave israel all the land all 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 the land look at me for a while the bible said the lord gave israel all the land he gave them all the land in verse 43 in verse 44 he gave them rest now listen to me you will engage prayer tonight i don't know what land god has given unto you the land can be your marriage the land can be your no 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 god cannot give you marriage without giving you rest in the marriage god cannot give you a land without giving you rest he can't give me an office he can't give me a job he can't give me a uh a money without giving me rest how can god give me children and he can he doesn't give me rest in those children tonight is the night of rest on every side god will give you now, now i want you to lift your hand and pray tonight and say lord you have given me the land give me rest can you pray tonight go before the lord we are in verse 43 go before the lord and say lord you have given me the land give me rest on this land i pray oh god it can be a physical land that god has given to you it can be a job it can be a business it can be a, a ministry i don't care what god has given unto you no matter what has god has given unto you if he gives you he will also give you rest pray and tell god to, tonight father in the name of jesus i'm standing before you 
and they declare, Lord, you have given me rest. You have given me the land. Give me also rest. Cry to God and say, I'm standing on Joshua 21, 43. And I declare in the name of Jesus, who you have given me the land. Now give me rest. Lift your hand and pray. I'm standing on Joshua 21, 43. You have given me the land. Give me also rest. Give me rest in my land. 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 You have given me the land of God. You also will give me rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray and declare before the Lord. You have given me the land. Give me also rest in my land. Pray tonight. Tell God, give me rest, oh God. You are the promise keeping God. You never lie. And you will never lie. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, we have prayed and we all say amen and amen. Tonight, God will give you rest. You do not hear me. I say tonight, God will give you rest. Rest is your portion in the Lord. Rest is your portion in Christ. Now, listen to me. Proverbs 10.22 The Bible says, The blessing of the Lord make it rich. And when God blesses, He does not bless you with sorrow. When God blesses you, he does not bless you with sorrow. It is clear. How can God has given you marriage and that marriage has sorrow? How? How God can give you a body and that body is always in sorrow? How? How God can give you a house and that house is always sorrowful? That is not the plan of God for you. Proverbs 10 22 is your portion. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and there is no sorrow with it. Lift your hand and declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that I am blessed and no sorrow in my life anymore. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with me tonight and declare, Father, I'm standing on Proverbs 10, 22. Your blessing has no sorrow. Lord, your blessing has no sorrow. If this business is your blessing, oh God, your blessing does not come with sorrow. Lord, I pray that my marriage will be a blessing. The blessing does not come with sorrow. Lift your hand and pray with Proverbs 10, 22 and declare before the Lord, Lord, I'm standing on the word of God. Pray and declare, Lord, your blessing has no sorrow. I will not sorrow. Lift your hand and pray with me tonight. Lord, this year, as I'm stepping into May 2024, I will not sorrow. No more sorrow in my life. I will not sorrow, oh God. I will not sorrow, oh God. I will not sorrow, oh God. No more sorrow with my children. Lift your hand and pray. No more sorrow with my wife and my husband, the one you have given to me. If at all it is your wife, if at all it is the wife God has given to you, if at all it is the husband God has given to you, if at all that husband is a blessing, the blessing that don't come with sorrow, lift your hand and pray. No more sorrow in my life. No more sorrow. 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 Lift your hand and pray. No more sorrow in my life. I declare tonight, oh God, I will no sorrow. I will never sorrow again. God blesses. When you bless, there is no sorrow. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The next scripture is in Judges chapter 3 verse 30. Judges 3 30, the Bible says, Moab was subdued that day under the hand of Israel and the land had rest four score years, meaning 80 years. Moab was subdued and the land had rest for 80 years. Hallelujah. I want you to pray. Listen to me very carefully. I don't know how old you are, but I want to declare to you the next 80 years will be years of rest for you. Because the Bible says the land has rest for four and four score years, meaning for 80 years. What happened for Israel 
to have rest because Moab was subdued. Subdued means powerless. Subdued means under their feet. Listen to me. Rest does not mean the absence of the enemies. Rest means the enemy are present but they are under control. Today, if you are not having rest, it is because you are allowing the enemy to control you. You are allowing that husband to control you. You are allowing that woman to control you. You are allowing your circumstances of your life to control you. First Chronicle 22 verse 18. First Chronicle 22 18. Is not the Lord your God with you? And has he not given you rest on every side? For he has given the inhabitant of the land into my hand, and the land is subdued before the Lord and before his people. Is not the Lord your God with you? Has he not given you rest on every side? He has given the inhabitant of the land into my hand. Hallelujah. And the land is subdued before his people. You know, you know, for you to experience rest, do you know what? Can, can, can I tell you this? If you want to experience rest on every side, your enemy must be under your feet, not in your heart. Under your feet, not in your mind. Under your feet, not in your thought. Under your feet, not in your head. Jesus says, Luke 10, 19, I give you power to tread on serpents, to tread on scorpions, to tread on all, every power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Pray with me tonight. If you, are, you can stand wherever you are, please stand and start declaring. I confess and I declare tonight the enemies, the serpent, the scorpions. I declare tonight you are under my feet. Now com command, 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 command. Don't, don't don't sleep, my friend. Start commanding. Walk around in your house. Go to your bedroom. Start treading upon the serpent in your bedroom. Go to your uh, uh, kitchen. Declare I am stepping on you tonight. Go, 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 go. Those are warfare prayers. Go before the Lord. Go to your veranda. Go to your uh, a corridor. Go to every part of your house. Start working now. The Lord is giving you to subdue your enemies. You can't have rest if you don't subdue your enemies. Go before the Lord. Declare, declare. I subdue my enemies tonight. I am stepping on you, devil. I'm stepping on the serpent. I'm stepping on the scorpions. All the powers of the enemy. I declare my victory. Victory on the cabo Declare before the Lord. I am treading on serpent and scorpions the power of the devil go before the line declare sickness i'm treading upon you tonight your house is always sickness after sickness declare before the lord devil you are under my feet i am walking i'm treading upon the forces of darkness in the name of the lord in the name of the lord in the name of the lord i'm treading on serpent i'm treading on scorpions on the power of the enemy in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god I am treading tonight. I'm treading on tonight. I don't know what is disturbing you. I don't know if you are hearing things uh, moving in your house there. Declare I am treading on serpent. I'm treading on scorpions. I don't know. Now the Bible says it's on the screen. All the power. All the power. I don't care. Whether the witches. Whether the wizards. Tonight you are treading. You are receiving power now to tread on those serpent. On those scorpions. Maybe you are sleeping, you see serpent coming, disturbing your, your night. Declare before the Lord, I am treading, I am treading, I am treading, I am treading, I am treading on serpent, on scorpions. You won't disturb my life. I don't know if there is a competitor at work disturbing your life. Declare tonight, I'm treading, I am treading on serpent, I am treading on scorpions over all, 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 all the power of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Praise be the living God. I say praise be the living God. Hallelujah. Rest on every side is your portion in Jesus' name. You know, Revelation chapter 12 verse 4. 
The Bible says his tail drew the third parts of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Look at me. The devil does not need you. Listen to me. No, listen to me. The devil is not after you. He doesn't care about you. The devil is after what you carry. This devil, this dragon, was standing in front of the woman to devour her child. The devil want to devour your destiny. He want to devour your children. He want to devour what you have, you are, you are born for. That is the the the, the aim of the enemy. Now you know in football, eh, when pe players are playing around on the on the on on the on the field. You know, when the footballer, that guy people know a lot, when he touches the ball, everybody will come on him. The problem is not him. The problem is the ball. Because if he doesn't have the ball, people will leave him alone. But the moment the ball comes there, that is where the attack comes. You know, do you know why they are attacking you? Don't think uh, they are attacking me. They are not attacking you. They are attacking what you carry. You carry greatness. You carry uh power you carry a great destiny revelation 12 verse 5 and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up to god and to his throne now and i want you to know despite the presence of the dragon this woman conceived she gave birth as it is written in Revelation chapter 12, verse 5. What I mean is this one. No devil will ever stop you from giving birth to what God has put in you. The project that is in you, if it comes from God, no devil can stop it. The project God has initiated in your heart, no devil can stop it. You know, this woman was pregnant. The dragon was in front of her. She did not even bother about the dragon. She bothered about giving birth. May you not lose your focus. The devil is not your problem. Your problem is giving birth. And I want you to pray tonight. Revelation 12, 5. Make it your prayer tonight. And declare before the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree. I will give birth. To what I was born for. I will give birth in the name of Jesus. To what I was born for. Lift your hand and pray. The project that God has put in my heart. I will give birth to it. Lift your hand and pray. Pray, 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 pray. I don't know what are the dream you have in your heart. Maybe you have a dream for your future. Your destiny for your children. For your marriage. I don't care what the devil is doing. Declare as standing on Revelation 12 verse 5. Despite the presence of the devil. Despite the presence of witches in my family. Despite the presence of the enemies at my workplace despite the adversaries i declare and i decree in the name of jesus the son of the living god i will give birth i will give birth i will give birth in the name of jesus the son of the living god i will give birth to my greatness my great destiny i will give birth to what god has called me to do i don't care who are standing out my way i don't care who now listen and pray again i declare my baby will not be eaten oh you are not hearing me my baby will not be eaten my project will not abort what god has put in my heart will not abort lift your hand and pray lift your hand and pray pray with understanding tonight i will give birth to whatever god has put in my heart the project i have the plan of god in my life it will come to pass it will come to pass it will come to pass in the presence of my enemies hallelujah in the presence of my enemies the lord is dressing a table before me it shall be so it shall be so in the name of jesus christ Christ, the son of the living God. You know, rest does not mean no problem. No. Rest means, despite the problem, I am at peace. Rest does not mean no adversa advers adversities or adversaries. No. Adversaries will still be there. But despite the adversaries, 
I have peace in my heart. Hallelujah. That is the meaning of rest. Rest means that God is in control. Rest means I am not controlling anything. Rest means I surrender totally to God. Rest means I am confident that God is in control. That is the meaning of rest. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says in um, Psalm 110 verse 1, Psalm 110 verse 1, the Bible says, sit at my right hand until I make your adversaries your enemies. Sit at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Sit at my right hand. Sit at my right hand, hand means what? It means relax. Psalm 131 verse 2. Psalm 131 verse 2. The Bible says, I have kept my soul calm and quiet. My soul is content as a wind child is content in its mother's womb. I have kept my soul calm and quiet. Now, I don't know who I am talking to today. I have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is wind of his mother. My soul is even as a wind child. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. I want you to have some second of quietness. Just be quiet. Tell your soul tonight. My soul be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Speak to your soul tonight. You don't jump, you don't cry, you don't shout. Just declare before the Lord. Lord, I pray. Speak to your soul. My soul be quiet. My soul be quiet. We read in BBE version. My soul be quiet. My soul be calm. My soul be quiet like a child. My soul be quiet. Pray tonight and declare, my soul be quiet. Don't shout. Just say to your soul, maybe you are there, you are peaceless, you are restless because of maybe the bills, maybe somebody is threatening you. Declare to your soul, my soul be calm. My soul be quiet. My soul be quiet my soul be calm i want to declare over somebody tonight let your soul be quiet let your soul be calm let your soul be quiet let your soul be calm receive peace in your soul receive peace in your mind in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the son of the living god rest will not just happen you must quiet your soul quiet your soul quiet your soul in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god listen to me the reason why we sometimes we are restless it is because of the kind of voices we are listening to the voice of your people around you, the voice of your past experience, the voice of others' experience, the voice of the devil, all those voices speaking must be silenced and quieted. The devil speaks to you. He speaks to your mind. Maybe tonight you are there. This devil is speaking to your thought. This devil is speaking to your soul. I want you to speak to your soul. And declare to your soul, Psalm 130, verse 1, My soul, be quiet, be calm, be quiet, be calm, be quiet, be calm. Psalm 131, verse 2, be quiet, be calm. Pray, pray, and declare with me tonight, My soul, be quiet and be calm. My soul, be quiet and be calm. In the name of Jesus Christ, declare tonight before the Lord, let any devil be silenced in the name of Jesus. Any voice, maybe you can hear voices telling you you should commit suicide. Shut up, devil. In the name of Jesus, let the devil be shut up tonight. Shut up the voice of the enemy. Maybe people are giving you bad advices telling you go and commit immorality
ability to have money declare to the devil devil shut up 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 in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god you will have rest when you learn to silence the voice of the enemy tonight silence the devil silence the enemy silence the devil tell the devil shut up in the name of jesus mark 1 25 declare devil shut up shut up shut up in the name of jesus christ shut up in my mind my god is alive declare to the devil shut up declare to the devil shut up declare to the devil shut up declare to the lord shut up shut up shut up shut up shut up shut up in the name of jesus christ hold your peace hold your peace shut up in the name of the, the, the lord rebuke the devil no go before the lord rebuke the devil rebuke the devil rebuke the devil declare to the devil maybe you are hearing the devil telling you that you will fail declare to the devil you are a liar i will succeed maybe the devil is telling you tonight that things will not go well for you they tell him devil shut up things will go well with me maybe the devil is telling you you will die declare to the devil shut up i will live maybe the devil is telling you you will this you will destroy declare before the lord devil shut up i will succeed all will be well with me hallelujah declare mark 134 jesus was not allowing the devil to speak tonight I declare i don't know what the doctor has spoken to you maybe you are there i see you have some medical report take the medical report declare the devil you are a liar you are a liar look at me look at me look at me there was a time uh, that um, uh, uh, i went for a test i was, uh, I was to travel and i went for the test of covid in 2021 and the the test of the covid told me that i had a covid 2021 you know what i told that uh, doctor i told those uh, whatever people there in the hospital i say you are you are you are you are liars i can't have covid i can't have covid they told me but you have the results it shows you have covid and i told them i silenced the devil you know the problem where you are not having rest because you are hearing voices and those voices are causing you to cry you are crying because somebody told you look at how old you are do you think you can have a marriage look at how old you are do you think that you can have children look at how old you are do you think you can have a husband look at how old you are do you think you can have a wife look at how the situation is do you think you can have money tell the devil devil shut up <laughs> and i told those, those doctors i can't have covid man do me another test they said no we can't do another test because it will still the same i took that paper i tore it into pieces i threw it i went to do another test the test was negative and i traveled without any covid in me the devil is a liar now i want to let you know tonight whatever the devil is telling you tonight i want you to know it is a lie it is a lie it is a lie i remember there's a lady one day when she came to me by uh, uh, she was pregnant uh, one month pregnant and she called me she said dad i have miscarried i said what what told you have miscarried i see blood i see now uh, come in my office she came in my office and okay not in my office in my house um and i say oh my friend who told you you are miscarried he said i'm miscarried i said you did not miscarry and i told her if i cut myself here and we see blood coming out is it is it is it miscarriage i said you have never miscarried it is not a miscarriage now i took the anointing oil i placed on her and i told her go at home your baby is alive man how and she took the word she went back home and in nine time uh, or nine months time she conceived her baby i want to let you know whatever the devil whatever the devil is telling you tonight it is a lie lift your hand and say with me devil you are a liar <laughs> mark 134 declare with me tonight devil you are a liar i don't know what the doctor told you i don't know what the court told you the devil is a liar 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 declare with me tonight the devil is a liar what god has promised me promise me it will come to pass devil you are a liar i will succeed i will it will be well with me i will possess my possession the devil is a liar 
I will live long. The devil is a liar. I will not die with sickness. The devil is a liar. Things will go well with me. The devil is a liar. I will get my job. The devil is a liar. I will prosper. The devil is a liar. Things will go well with me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Devil shut up. 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 Devil shut up in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Tonight, I don't care what the devil has told you in your life. I declare over your life, you will live long. If the doctor told you your day, your days are numbered, who are they to tell you your days are numbered? You will live long. You will get your job. This month of May, you will hold your testimony. This month of May, things will go well with you. This month of May, hallelujah, whatever God told you, whatever God told you, somebody will hold what you could not hold before. This month of May, whatever the devil told you, the four months uh, past, it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. The word of God is the truth. And the truth of the Lord will prevail in your life this month of may 2024 i declare over you the doors will be opened for you the doors that the those impossible doors whom you can never imagine that can be opened this month of may they will be open for you the word of life church is unstoppable you will be unstoppable in the name of the lord now this month of may God will surprise you. I said, God will surprise you. No, you don't hear me. I said, God will surprise you. Now, listen to me. I can hear God saying, This month of May, you will sing a new song. The song you sang for the last uh, four months, you will never sing those songs again in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I say in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, it is well. I say it is well in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. I bless you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Have a blessed night. Great things are happening in town. And you'll be part of it in the name of the lord be glorified in jesus name amen and amen blessed night to you all thank you